This is what your hands might look like after working on a normal vehicle. This is what your hands might look like after working on an electric vehicle. Batteries. This is Pierce. He is an electrical engineer. When asked what he likes most about being an engineer, Pierce said... You get to make practical solutions and that's always fun. Especially in my case now, with this vehicle, all coming from science and then you implement it and then you have, you have a motor vehicle, I, I just think that's awesome. When you floor it in an electric vehicle, it's quite a special feeling as you have instantaneous torque from zero RPM. You hear the whir of the electric motor, your body just sits back in its seat, strapped in by the G's. Sweet. When Pierce and three other engineers were asked by a farmer to convert his farm truck to an electric vehicle, Pierce said... Yes, let's do it. This is a Tesla Model S. It's fast. Like Pierce's project, it also runs on batteries. So, how does the energy in the battery cause the car to start moving? Batteries are a storage device for electrical energy. That electric energy is manipulated into a form usable by a motor, which rotates, causing mechanical rotation of the shaft, which is fed to the wheels, which causes linear motion of the vehicle. The more power that is fed to the motor through voltage and current, the more mechanical power in terms of torque and speed. Pierce knows that his project would not have been possible if direct current electricity, or DC, had not been discovered before his time. I do. One of the people who was crucial in his discovery was Luigi Galvani. Who is he? Luigi Galvani was Italian, obviously. His work was one of the inspirations that led Mary Shelley to write Frankenstein. When Galvani touched a nerve in the frog's leg, with two different metals, the leg suddenly started to move. Galvani figured out there was electricity coming from somewhere. It was Alessandro Volta that made something useful out of that discovery. Alessandro Volta replaced the frog's leg with cardboard that had been soaked in salt water. He then placed this between discs of copper and zinc. He attached wires to either end and then touched both wires to his tongue. This was the world's first battery, made of zinc, copper, cardboard and salt water. Tested with tongue. With it came the birth of direct current electricity. Volta's discovery kick-started electrical science and would pave the way for those who came after him. Pierce's work with electric vehicles builds on the legacy of Galvani and Volta. I like that my project is aimed at a group of people that isn't usually exposed to electric vehicles, uh, such as farmers. I want to make an environment where we're not destroying what we have. Um, I don't want to move to Mars to create another livable planet. Studying engineering is the easiest way to make the largest difference you can, I feel. Cheers, Pierce.